Hello, and welcome back to Lifestyle and Net Worth. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at what your life is like when you're a member of one of the most popular music groups in the world. What would your life look like if you were the lead vocalist of Cool in the Gang, James Taylor? Where would you live and what car would you drive? In this video, we're going to be finding out how these icons live or live their lives. And, uh, it's funny, when it's, those things start happening, you just don't know how it's going to go until it's, it's done. And I just you know, feel blessed and uh, it was a great time. James J.T. Taylor was the lead vocalist of the band Cool in the Gang. He has a net worth of $6 million. In 1978, he played with Milton Golfus, Christopher Golfus, and Ellerton Johns in full force. He left full force when Christopher Golfus brought him to his brother's House of Music studio to audition for Cool in the Gang. In September 1980, the band released the album Celebrate. It became a bigger commercial success than Ladies' Night. The lead single, Celebration, remains the band's only single to reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100 singles chart. In 1988, Taylor pursued a solo career and has released four solo albums to date. In 1989, he released his first solo album titled Master of the Game, which produced several hits, including the album's first single, All I Want Is Forever, a duet with Regina Bell. The single, The Promised Land, was included on the soundtrack of Ghostbusters 2. In 1991, Taylor released his second solo album, Feel the Need, which garnered the hits Long Hot Summer Night and Heart to Heart, a duet with Stephanie Mills. 1993 saw the result of the singer's third solo album, Baby I'm Back, followed by his fourth solo album in 2000 titled A Brand New Me. In the 1990s, Taylor began his acting career in the 1992 Hollywood film The Mambo Kings and the long-running Broadway musical Raisin. James is married to Starlena Young, and they have a son. His family was featured on his album A Brand New Me. He also posts regularly on his social media accounts. James J.T. Taylor owns a house in Franklin Lakes, New Jersey. He lives there, but not much information is available regarding his other property. James J.T. Taylor drives a Chevrolet. This uh, uh, first record came out in 69, Cool in the Gang, and then the 70s with uh, uh, Good Times and Funky Man, Funky Granny. Robert Cool Bell was the bass guitarist of the group. He has a net worth of $6 million. Bell is best known for being one of the founding members of the musical group Cool in the Gang. His exquisite sense of style has earned him a lot of admiration. Along with his brother, Ronald Bell, he began playing jazz, and in 1964, they formed a group called the Jazziats. They began playing at clubs in New York City under a series of different band names before settling on Cool in the Gang in 1968. He gave himself the nickname Cool after someone named Cool as a means of adjusting to the neighborhood street gangs. In 1987, Bale and Taylor created a public service program to encourage school children to pursue education by rewarding those with perfect attendance records with free tickets to Cool in the Gang concerts. Still active, Bell, besides writing songs for his band, has songwriting credits that appear on numerous recordings by the varied likes of The Killers, Sam Smith, Pat Boone, TLC, Timbaland, and Robbie Robertson. Robert Cool is married to Deborah Jones. The couple got married in 1971 and her parents of two children. He lives in New Jersey with his family. Not much information is available regarding his real estate as he likes to keep that private. Robert Bell drives a Mercedes.
and a Toyota. Into the business, mm -hmm. but then in somewhere in be, inside of that situation, a project that stuck out for me, it was an album called Everybody's Dancing. Ronald Bell played the tenor saxophone in the band. He had a net worth of $5 million at the time of his death in 2020. Bell converted to Islam in 1972, joining the Nation of Islam. He was given the name Khalis Bayan by Imam Warith Dean Muhammad. Ronald Bell composed, arranged, produced, and performed some of the most popular music in Cool in the Gang's body of work. He was a self-taught musician, and his distinctive sound is on the group horn lines, bass, synthesizer, and vocals. He wrote and produced many of Cool and the Gang's songs. He said his favorite song was Celebration, which he wrote after reading a passage in the Quran. Bell died at his home in the United States Virgin Islands on September 9, 2020 at age 68. No cause was given, but the death was described as sudden. He was married to Tia Sinclair Bell and had 10 children. His son Rashid released his debut album in 1998. He owned a house in the United States Virgin Islands where he died on September 9, 2020. Ronald Bell used to drive a Dodge. They're singing and they forget about the business aspect of it and uh, years later they find out that uh, they don't have the, uh, the cheddar that they thought they were going to have. George Funky Brown is the drummer of the band. He has a net worth of $1 million. Brown, with Cool in the Gang, has been inducted into the New Jersey Hall of Fame and there's a street in Jersey City named in their honor. The Grammy-winning group has received the Soul Train Legend Award and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. We don't know about his relationships as he likes to keep his personal life private. George Brown lives in his home in New Jersey. We don't know much about his real estate holdings as there's not much information available. George Brown has been seen driving a Ford truck. a Chevrolet Suburban, a Range Rover, starts and um, I think after that we head to Detroit and then Indianapolis I believe. Yeah. You know, so it's gonna it's gonna be pretty good. We're all excited about it, that's for sure. Sean McQuiller is the vocalist and guitarist of the band. He has a net worth of $500,000. From the age of 10, Sean began playing and gaining interest from his local community. Later in life, he began performing in local groups such as The Pleasure Secrets, UST Topaz, Van Taylor, and Traffic Jam. He's offered himself to charities such as the Miracle Children's Network, and many other organizations that fight for a greater cause. He often gives a lot of his time to children in the community and to children he meets in his travels, inspiring them to believe in their dreams. Sean is married and has three kids. However, he likes to keep his personal life private and we don't know the details. He lives at his home in Lackawanna with his wife and three children. Not many details are known about his other real estate holdings. Sean McQuiller drives a Toyota Prius and a Ford. A Porsche 911. a Maserati Gran Cabrillo. 